welcome to the first ever magnet orientation for the Roybal Allard Elementary School Dreams Magnet Center. Our agenda today is of course our welcome, description of the magnet program, our curriculum, what our schedule will look like in our new reality, and any questions you may have. So I created this quick trailer for you. you enjoyed that. So just FYI, if you don't know the history for our school, um, well, I'll do that in a second. So one, these are important people. You need to know Ms. Espinosa. She is our lovely SAA, which is another word for office manager. And of course, our fantastic principal, Ms. Raina Schaefer. If you need to know anybody in our school, these are the people you want to know. All right, so I'm going to start first with just a little bit of history about our school. So Roybal Allard was ele Elementary was created about eight, nine years ago. And some of us at a nearby school saw this new school being built and we thought, you know, we know education better than anybody and who would be better than us to design the curriculum? So we worked for two years on creating a plan and it was a long plan um, of the best educational system we could design for our students. So, we worked on it for two years, we turned it into the district, and we competed against other charter schools for this location, and they gave it to us. They really liked our thinking about our plan, and it has been an amazing place to work. However, we did see a need. Many of our students were applying to magnet programs once they got out, and they could not get in because of the way the magnet program works through points. You have to attend the magnet program to get into another magnet program for the most part. So because of that, we decided, okay, then we need to apply to have a magnet program here. And that's what we did. We got together about two years ago, about three of us, to sit down and write down a plan for a magnet program here. And they liked it. So they awarded us the magnet program and this year is our first year opening up 2020, 2021. And we're super excited to have you here as one of the foundational families for our beautiful new school. And we know our students are going to rock it. We have really highly qualified teachers with training in dreams and dreams means design thinking, research, engineering, arts, mathematics, and science. How do we do it? Well, we want to make sure that all our kids learn and achieve at really high levels. And we do that by creating a collaborative culture that focuses on results. So as I said before, we were focused in dreams, but we do that through a social justice lens, right? We want to do things for the right reasons and to serve people. And we foster a rigorous learning environment and we draw from research-based teaching practices, right? We want our kids to develop those higher order thinking skills. And we really want our kids to be active learners who produce solutions to big problems. It's not just your own problems, but maybe problems that might be happening in the, in the classroom, in the school, in the community, in the United States, in the world, right? What are some big problems that we can take steps to fix? And the arts are integral to the development of the whole child, we know this because it promotes self-directed learning 
and sharpens creative and critical thinking. So we make sure that we integrate VAPA into what we do. For math, our approach is through CGI, which is Cognitively Guided Instruction. And we know that's the best way to get kids deep into the math so they really understand the content, the processes, the practices. For science, we focus on NGSS, which are the Next Generation Science Standards. We got a new program this year called Amplify, which we are super excited about because it's all about real world, real world authentic problems that really push kids to observe the world and critically evaluate explanations, right? Don't just take what people tell you, you gotta be the person who decides. And we use Roybal Allard based learning, we call it Rabble, which uses design thinking processes and a transdisciplinary project based learning approach. Everything is through research and learning and the kids coming up with those solutions. So this is our new reality for one through three. For Tuesday through Friday, that's when they have their regular instructional day. Students should be on Schoology by 9 a.m. and expect to work in and out. Sometimes it might be synchronous, which means they are face-to-face -face with the teacher on Zoom. And sometimes during the day, they might be asynchronous, which means independent learning on their own on Schoology or another platform. But students should be available between 9 o'clock and 1.40. And on Mondays, that's the instructional support day. Maybe teachers see a need for more help with a specific group and that's when they can provide it. For grades four through five, it's pretty much the same. The only difference you can see the day is a little bit longer. It goes from 9 a.m. to 1.50. So that's when students should be available. But remember, they will not be online that whole time because some work is synchronous and some work is asynchronous on Zoom. Uh, you know, synchronous meaning on Zoom, asynchronous meaning independent work. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the presentation. We are super, super happy to have you here. It's gonna be a great year. I know I personally am so excited to be here to serve you. And I think we're gonna have an amazing year.